Good morning and welcome to Coffee with Caitlin. Today we are going to talk about my beekeeping pandemic hobby, uh, which is why I have my awesome flow hive hat on. So yeah, I could take it off though because I can't actually, it's just for show. I can't actually drink coffee with that on. Um, today we're gonna talk about uh, beekeeping and what that's like and I can't do it alone. Patrick! Do you want to be in my video? <laughs> sure. Okay, yay. Go Bills. What? This is my husband. His name is Patrick. He's going to, seriously? What? Buffalo Bills. No one cares about the Bills. That's not true. <laughs> this is my husband, Patrick, and we are going to tell you a little bit about our beekeeping hobby. Uh, we started it when the pandemic started and it's been kind of interesting. What made you want to do this? Because he was kind of the one that ordered it and just went for it. Um, well, the specific hive that we have is the Flow Hive, which is a type of hive that you can use almost anywhere. It makes collecting the honey much easier. And it's something that I had seen on Kickstarter a few years back. And the company's progressed quite a bit past that uh, Flow Hive. And it's an Australian based company and they've really grown a lot. And they've got quite a few different types of hives and pandemic. What's the kind that we have? What's the Flow Hive that we have? We have the Cedar 7. So that means that the whole Flow Hive is made of cedar wood and it has seven um, trays that um, you can use to collect honey and, and, and seven, seven frames in there for the bees. Yeah, and I'm gonna put the link for the Flow Hive down below in the um, description so that way if anybody's interested in checking it out, uh, you can search Flow Hive on Instagram or Facebook, I think, YouTube, mm -hmm. and you can find a whole bunch of cool stuff about I think it. It's flowhive.com. Flowhive.com, I'm sure. But I'm gonna put a link in the bottom. So check it out when you get a chance. Um, so he orders this flow hive and it took a long time to build. I felt like- About a half a day. Yeah, it took like half a day. It was like a process to build the flow hive. Yeah. I mean, you have to <laughs> nail it all. I mean, it's all in pieces of cedar wood and you have to yeah. sand it and nail it all together. And then we stained it and painted it and yeah. it's ready to go. I feel like it's, if you can buy them put together, if you're not like the master uh, puzzle creator for like, it's almost like a 3D puzzle kind of, I think. And it, it literally did take half the day. And uh, he worked on it and then all of a sudden it was done. We painted it, it was looking really cute. I would have painted it like pink and swirly, but it, <laughs> but it, it, it is what it is and uh, it, it's kind of fun. We actually have had it for a year now mm -hmm. because the memories of us uh, building the flow hive popped up on my Facebook the other day. And I was like, yay, it's our one year flow hive anniversary. Um, so we've been beekeepers, I guess, for a year now. And we just put the super on, which is the top part where the bees actually make the honey that you get to take and consume. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going pretty good, I think. Yeah, it took, we you know we had to order the bees um, from a place locally we sourced Italian honeybees and filled the hive but it was five pounds of bees and it takes them a while to build up enough mass of the hive to be able to fill fill it so it took you know to about a year I mean after you know the winter and stuff they're not really doing a lot but they've filled out all the frames and now we added the super on top where they start building the honey and and now soon we will have honey and i'm really excited uh because i can think of a million things that i want to do with the honey but <laughs> it's actually really cool and i want i want to put on like the bee suit. i don't know if it has a name does it have a name i call it the bee suit is, is there a name for it Beekeeper suit. Beekeeper i'm suit? not really sure what the specific <laughs> i just means. call it his bee suit but I've never put it on. It's and not actually, really. It's we don't use the whole suit. I don't really do that. No. But it's just a jacket and a hood. Yeah, yeah. but it, that's like probably the iconic beekeeping thing. So I want to put that on real quick. I'm going to show you what it looks like. 
ta-da! Uh, it's sort of feeling like I'm going to space, but we're gonna do a hive check right now uh, and kind of show you what it looks like. It's, it's gonna be pretty cool, so uh, check it out. You wanna be in my YouTube video? <laughs> do I have a choice? I don't know. What are you doing? I am just setting up the smoker. Kind of helps keep the bees calm and it, it uh, actually prevents them from sending alert pheromones through the hive and uh, just keeps, the, keeps them calm. Now we have smoke. Check it out. Full of honey, it's packed. Really try not to hurt any of them. Frame is filled out. That's great. That's what we've been waiting for. gist of what we do uh, right as we're putting the super on and we had to make sure that the bees had filled out all of the frames in the bottom before we could add the top part and now that the super is on we're gonna make some honey uh, what are you gonna do with all the honey because there's gonna be a lot um, there's a ton of stuff you can do with the honey I mean recipes and ice cream and all that stuff <laughs> I feel like I know what you want to say, but you're not saying it. I could put it on your boobies. <laughs> See, my mom might watch this. Weird. I feel like you goaded me into that. <laughs> I feel like you smiled and you knew you wanted to say that, but you didn't. So. <laughs> ah, damn it. What? <laughs> So with all of the honey, I think I'm gonna have to come up with some really cool ideas and I don't know what I'm gonna use. Baked goods. Baked goods, I don't know. There's a million things you could do with honey. So if you have a suggestion, leave it in the comments below because I don't know what I'm gonna do with massive amounts of honey. There's two of us and I just don't know what I'm gonna do with it all. So put it in the coffee. I guess that we'll do that. We'll have to try. And when I am able to get the honey out of the hive for the first, what's that called? Harvesting our honey. Uh, I'll make a video so that you can see what it's like because it's going to be really cool. And if you have any good, cool experiences with uh, beekeeping, let me know below because I'm always looking to connect with other people that have weird pandemic hobbies such as beekeeping. So that's pretty cool. So thanks for watching and make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon.